Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back rather. What I'm going to talk to you guys about today is breast milk and a lot of it. So bear with me. I have a lot to say. I will try to make it short though because um, I always said that like if I ever did a YouTube channel, I would want something that I was drawn to when I was looking at YouTube channels, right? So I hate, oh, hate is maybe a harsh word. I don't like long videos. I can't, I can't, I can't do long videos. It's just, it's too long and it's, it's just too long. So especially being a new mom, like you know i don't have the time to sit and listen for like 45 minutes about something um you know it, to each their own for me i cannot so i'm gonna try to make this short and concise um and of course you know it depends on the topic if i can extend a little bit i will but i don't want like a draw a full drawn out youtube um video all right let's jump right into breast milk aka aka liquid gold so i pumped I have these two bottles right here. I have this whole bag right here. There's six bottles in here. And then I pumped this one this morning. So I am just going to show you what I do with um, my breast milk once I'm done pumping. Um, basically, I pumped this two days ago and I thought that Peanut was going to um, eat it when he was away at his grandmother's house, but turned out he didn't eat it. So um, Eric brought it back home. So what I usually do with these is like I'll store it and I'll put it in the freezer um, because when I'm with him, I only breastfeed. Unless I need to go out, then Eric will give him the bottle. So the bags that I actually use are the Lansino bags. I don't know if you can see Lansino bags and they hold about six ounces. So I have put six ounces in these bags and when I freeze them, they get like thick. And when I end up storing, like stacking them, it's just too much. Um, so I would advise to put max five ounces in the bags, which is what I wrote down here. So I put five ounces, time and date. I don't put his name because he's the only baby here. Everybody knows, nobody else is drinking breast milk. Um, and obviously they put a name section because if you do go to daycare, et cetera, then at least, you know, it'll be um, marked, which is excellent. But for now, Peanut is not in daycare, so I don't really bother. Eventually, when he goes to daycare, I guess I'll have to, you know, put, not I guess, I will put his name on there because we definitely don't want any milk confusion or another baby getting um, my breast milk. So I'll add my name or his name on there, but for now, I just leave it blank. So I washed my hands always, always, always before handling breast milk because you want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's clean. You, it's just a no-brainer. Also, I'm a nurse, so like washing my hands is like second nature, right? It's like, um, I don't know, I would say tying my shoelace when it's undone, but not everybody does that. Um, anyways, washing my hands is second nature. So what I do is I rip off the little tag and I just go ahead and pour the breast milk in here. I know a lot of people like I read I read online that like people use their pump part to pour the breast milk in to prevent any spillage. I don't I don't know if it's because I'm like type A or you know I don't know. Um I'm just very like careful with the breast milk so it doesn't fall. Um so I don't need to use the pump part for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour about, yep, just about five ounces in the bag. And so what you do wanna make sure is that you actually, um, here, I can show you guys. You wanna make sure that you get all the air out. So you get all the air out, you know, if you can see, and then you make sure that you close it properly because I think it happened like once or twice where like I actually did that and um, I didn't do it properly and the milk fell a little bit. So there, so it's gonna look like this, all right? And then when you put it in the freezer, you wanna make sure that you lay it flat. That way it freezes flat and then you can store it properly. So I'm just gonna keep doing that with all the bottles. And then um, once I'm done with that, we can move on to storing it in the freezer. Like I said, I know a lot of people buy like freezer containers and they, you know, every, it works. What I personally do, and you can probably see, you see this right here, this right here, literally 
uh, are boxes <laughs> that I take from Costco um, every time I go because I live next to a Costco and um, I just store it there literally just store there um so i don't buy anything extra just because why you know if i can get it then i get it um so right here these are two boxes from costco and i just go ahead and store my milk in it when it is frozen and it works perfectly fine but you know whatever works for you um everybody has their own thing just find a system find what works um and kind of go with it you know just go with it so I'm opening up my other bin of breast milk and I just want to show you guys how cool this is. You can literally see the fat content at the top and then the rest, the rest of the milk. So it literally separates. So that's what breast milk does, right? Once you pop it and you refrigerate it, it separates. And all you have to do is swirl. So you don't want to shake it because you don't want to like um, break down the nutrients. You really want to just swirl, 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 swirl. And then you can maybe go like this a little bit. But you really just wanna swirl it. And then, let's see. Yeah. And there you go. It's all mixed up. And like the thicker fat content, I don't know if you, you won't be able to see, but the thicker fat content that may stick to the actual bottle, if you run um, warm water on it, it'll just like kind of mix in with the rest. So you can definitely do that. All right. So I am going to do this last bottle and then I'm going to show you guys how I store it. For the purpose of this video, I won't, you know, do the whole eight bottles that I have here because that's just repetitive for no reason. Um, and then I'll show you how and where I store it. So again, I'm just making sure that I'm putting about five ounces in these bags because six is a bit much. Um, even though it says on the bag, do not fill past six ounces, I just put five and I'll show you why. All right. So this is my second bag. And again, I date it and label it and I make sure that it is well closed. Okay. So, so it's going to look like this when I store it in the freezer like this. So once it's frozen, you'll have a nicely, a nicely frozen and nicely flat uh, breast milk bag. That way when you thaw it, it's not all like cringed up or anything like that. And besides that, you also wanna make sure that you don't like freeze it like this because it's gonna take up space in your freezer or in your box or your container, or whatever you use. So freeze it like so. And then when you get it to thaw it, it's flat and neat. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's what I typically do. So I do pump at work and that will be a whole other video. I do pump at work. Um, so I usually come back home with my bottles because I don't want to like start pouring milk, um, at work. I literally pump at my desk. Thank God it's only the two of us and she's a female, so she doesn't mind me pumping. Hey colleague. <laughs> um, so I literally pump at work. However, I do not pour the milk in the bags just because eh, like god forbid it spills or just no like the whole pumping thing is a whole closed system all i have to do is remove the pumping parts and i literally so i pump in this bottle and i literally just add the cap on and then i put everything in a zipper a zipper a ziploc bag um put it in our fridge at work and I always make sure to put it in a Ziploc because again, it's, you know, it's a, it's a shared fridge. It's not my fridge. Um, again, in case of spillage and really it's breast milk. Like who wants their like sandwich next to breast milk? Uh, no. So I put it in this in the freezer bag and, um, yeah. And then I bring it home and then I come home and do this label and put them in the freezer bags. I also put like one, um, I don't know if you can see, let's see. I put these tags on them, one, two, and three. So one is like the first pump in session, two is the second and third. I typically pump at work um, about three times. Um, and I don't, again, there's no way for me to put the time, but I remember the times I pump. Like I know I pump at 7.30, 11.30, 2.30, and then when I get home, I breastfeed. 
Um, so I just put one, two, three, and that's it. Um, and I always, again, for some reason, I remember the time, so I always put one, two, and three. Um, that way, when I come home, I just pour it in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Pour it in the bag. And then, um, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then I just label um, with the date and the amount and put it flat. Oh, I think I heard someone. And this is the end of the video. Uh, um, so again, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I've answered some of your questions. And um, there will definitely be more videos to come about breast milk. Bye. Yeah. Uh.